Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom die cast review. Today we have Daniel Suarez's number 41 Coca-Cola from the Coke 600. Now, I have to say, this is not my template. In fact, uh, it's from this guy right here down at the bottom of your screen. Uh, please go check him out. He is absolutely incredible with his customs. Uh, well, his custom uh, templates. I don't know if he makes customs like die cast himself, but... He does have the templates for them, and they some of them are just absolutely insane. So huge props to him for what he's able to do. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to leave a, a link to his Instagram page because uh, he has like a website and stuff you can uh, get the templates for, and then you can kind of you know use them for whatever. And if you want to sell them, like he's got a deal that you can do. Uh, it's like some type of percentage for whatever you make off of it, which is you know not bad. But yeah, so those are uh, his templates, not mine. And, of course, this being one of them, I just wanted to make it. I didn't really have a purpose to, but I had a uh, extra Ford Mustang, and I'm like, what can I do with this? So, um, I got to thinking, I started looking at paint schemes, and I'm like, boom, Coca-Cola. Don't get a lot of those anymore, so that's the one I'm going to make. And all I have two Daniel Suarez paint schemes anyway. I have his throwback and then his Haas. So, I figured, why not add another one? You can catch this uh, diecast on track in the Little Wrangler Cup Series Season 3. I do not know which track it will be ran at yet, but it will definitely be ran for sure. So kind of stay tuned for that race. I don't know what race I'll be, of course, but uh, we got the Season 3 going for the Little Angler Cup Series. If you don't know what that is, that is my stop motion series. Go check a few of them out. We got Diecast Buffet uh, doing the commentating right now for Season 3, which is really, really cool. Uh, he's the first commentator ever, and he's doing a pretty darn good job at it. So once again, thank you Diecast Buffet for doing that. You are absolutely awesome at what you do. I know you've been wanting to be a commenter, and I figured, you know, well, a commentator, not a commenter. I said that weird. A commentator, so I figured, you know, hey, why not get this to you? You know, see what you can do with this. Have fun, be yourself, and that is exactly what you're doing. So once again, thank you. You are doing a fantastic job. But anyway, back to the diecast. Once again, I was like, you know, I got this Ford sitting here. I want to do something with it, but I don't really know what to do. So I Googled, uh, like, just 2019 paint schemes or 2020 paint schemes. And I'm like, okay, you know, what can I do with this? Well, you know, like, uh, is there, can I make that template? I don't know. I don't know if there's even one out for that or I don't know if I can make it myself. And then I saw this one. I'm like, you know what? That's pretty cool. Now, I would have done this paint scheme myself, but I can't do the curves. The curves right here is what I cannot do. Now, if I could do that, this would be easy. So, uh, so the shapes are kind of weird to me. So, because I do it on mobile and I, I do it on this app called Pixel Lab. Uh, it's for Android. It's not for iOS, surprisingly. But, yeah, I mean, it's a really good editor. I edit everything. Every picture, every template I edit on that app. And it's a fantastic app. It's just uh, a little difficult uh, for the more, like, Stuff like that. If I have to do that, I would have to make a whole separate image that looks like that design. Uh, then cut it out, then slap it on the die cast. So it would take a whole lot longer uh, for me to do that. And I didn't really want to spend a time just for a Daniel Suarez custom. So I went to, uh, you know, the website. And I'm like, you know what? That looks pretty cool. So I'll make that. And, you know, give them credit for it and whatever on Instagram. So, yeah. Uh, pretty cool template once again. I really like the red. Uh, the way it printed... Wasn't very good. This is that's because of my printer. That is not a uh, template or decal issue itself. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. From afar, not really afar, from like a little bit away, it looks really good. But of course, when you're using a camera, it picks up all the super small uh, mishaps and mistakes, and it makes it look ten times worse than what it actually looks like in person. Because the naked eye can't really pick up like what cameras can nowadays so it, uh, it gets every little specific thing wrong with whatever is on it compared to if you're just looking at it in real life so i mean that stinks but i mean you know it is what it is it doesn't matter again it's just going to be on track nothing special you probably won't be in frame anyway but i mean you know don't mean to take a shot at uh his performance in my series like that but i mean you know it's the truth but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at this uh die cast right here so um, uh, let's go ahead. I think the Coca-Cola is a little small. I don't know. It's, okay, see, boom, right there. That's where all of the mishaps come in. You're like, wow, that looks pretty bad. But when you, like, step back a little bit, just a tiny bit, it looks really good. But, I mean, like, everything there, it just it's all pixelated looking, and it looks really bad. But, again, take a step back or two. 
Uh, looks pretty good. You got the decal placement here. I didn't really get a full wrap uh, right there on the nose. Uh, I got a paint chip here. I don't know how that happened. I feel like I'm turning into Lionel, just with worse uh, decal, uh, decal quality. I got Ford, Coca-Cola there. Got the banner there. Uh, I got the roof here with the 41. Got the little camera. Got Coca-Cola on the back. You got Suarez. I printed off these banners myself. I made these. Uh, Coca-Cola there on the deck lid. Painted the splitter and spoiler myself with some good old painter's tape and some uh, spray paint. Which can be very, very risky at times. Do not get me wrong on that. Got the 4 GT back here with the taillights, the license plate, and the 41 right there. Got uh, Coke 600, got Haas, Coca-Cola, Haas again. I uh, can't tell us what these are down here. It looks like Alex uh, Alto though. I think it's Ford Mobile One. Uh, I think it's Rush Truck Centers. I don't know the other one there. And I think Coca-Cola. I think those were the contingencies on that because I had to make that myself. Uh, 41 here. Got the Monster Energy banner there. Or not the banner, but the logo there. NASCAR race car, as you can see. Uh, it didn't really line up as well, but it didn't really try that hard. But what really sucks is these little folds or these little... Uh, roof rails right here uh those are awful to kind of get around but i mean you know it's got to work with it of course you got the good year right there you can see where uh, it kind of connects and th that's the white line i'm talking uh, i'm talking about you see right there that's the white line i mean now it's really really bad on black but it's really really fixable on black as well so it's kind of a win lose but i mean you know it's all right it's pretty fixable once again not bad uh, but the template overall for this die cast right here, really, really good. Fairly simple. I mean, you got that little swoosh design on the side and stuff, which, I mean, is difficult for me to do. But, I mean, hey, if someone else will do it and they don't have a problem with me making some custom die casts out of it, I'm all for it. Now, I made this one a few months back, but, I mean, like, just where I had so much to record, so much to do. I had waves coming in. I had the new gold series coming in. Uh, I had more customs that I was trying to put out there. It just kind of got shoved back in the in the little pile of custom reviews to do. Uh, but I'm finally getting to it, and uh, yeah, so that should be uh, pretty cool to see it on track. Hopefully, we can kind of get that on there soon. It won't be on the third race, but uh, I mean, yeah, so it won't be on the third race, uh, which is a road course. I called it the Wrangler Road Course, but I think it's going to be like a Watkins Glen Jr. or something like that. I don't know, something around those. Because it looks like Walk uh, Watkins Glen. But it's just not clearly as big and it's... Oh, I hit the camera. It's not as big and it's not like the same shape, but it's pretty similar. And the third race is pretty interesting. It's only two wide racing. There's nine corners, uh, left and right turns. It's a road course, of course. <laughs> um... It's too wide only. It's very tight. It's very tough uh, to tame. You thought Darlington was that, but no, you have not seen this track. Or if you have, then you know what I'm talking about. But uh, Darlington, uh, the too tough to tame is nowhere even close to this track. Uh, so we should get that out uh, hopefully soon. I don't know when this is going out. So, I mean, I don't know. I can't really say, oh, it's going to be out this month or it's going to be out in a few weeks i can't really say that because i don't know when this particular diecast review is coming out to kind of do a timeline on the race but however it may not be in race three it will definitely be in season three as i've already said just don't know which track i feel like it's going to be ran at homestead uh it's going to be ran more than once at least i plan on it of course it won't be darlington because of uh the uh darlington throwback race uh there is a throwback for uh, Daniel Suarez already, so I'm not going to be using the Coca-Cola one. I'll be using the throwback, of course, uh, the Tony Stewart. And, yeah, that should be fun as well. I don't really know. Maybe the second Bristol race? I don't know. We'll just have to see. But I'm going to leave off right here. So, thank you all so much for watching this uh, die custom diecast review. I almost messed that up. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Again, uh, check them out in the description below. And I will see you in the next video.